Hey, this is Special Ed. You listen to Two in the Stink podcast. Yay! Yay! I like three in my stink. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Two in the Stink. It's your boy, Rob Stant. Yeah, what's uh, up? Next it's to your Jim Gillespie. Hey, yeah, I was going to introduce nah, you. Nah, it's all right. I got this one. Yeah, okay. Why does it smell like a pool down here um, today? I don't, those are my balls. Is that what is going no, on? No, I showered. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened. Um. So the problem is I left for, I was gone for less than a week, and my mom moved, like took my all my shit, and now it smells like a pool down here, so I don't know what's I have going no on. idea why it smells like a fucking pool down here. I don't know. Probably, my mom probably put, like, chlorine, like... Some, on the floor. Yeah. She, <laughs> she probably, She's losing her mind. She probably came in here and saw teeth on the wall and, like, panicked. Yeah, I found out those are transgender teeth. That's okay. I, I messaged them well, I messaged them back. I said, wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah. What did they said that? I don't know why they said that because transgenders love getting rid of body parts, <laughs> <laughs> tits, cock, teeth. Okay. Doesn't matter. They're but sending it. I don't know. They, I don't me- care. they messaged you like it was a, like you'd be mad about it. They said, well, I they hope met- you- "No, I think I think it's because I was making fun of them on the last episode, and they yeah. were like, hey, just just FYI.' I can't everybody as if, as if I'm not the biggest ally of all time." I defended them for 20 minutes in the last episode. I, I know, about, and you've never done that before. I do it all the it time. It was breaking I'm an new ally. ground. I'm an ally. I do it every day in the car. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when, it's actually how I started every phone call. I, t- I, I, first I, I, I actually heard you one time say, you know what would really make my wife awesome? A penis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, just like, that was a dream you had, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was a literal dream I had. Yeah, it wasn't a nightmare. So, yeah. Did no. not describe it as a nightmare. Woke up hard, actually. So. <laughs> and I had um, to check if she was, too. Oh, but so so. What's funny is I talked to I was when I was defending you know I Rob Stant, local comedian who defends the rights of trans people. True. And I was talking about in uh, Dragon Age and how they how they deserve how they <laughs> I forgot what how, the, yeah the how conversation they, was how they deserve yeah because you did a trans dragon voice and I think that's where we started. To get, <laughs> that's that's where we started getting into deep yeah. water. Yeah. No. All right. Well, don't do it again. <laughs> Stop. I don't. You said the funniest thing. Though. Fire is not the only thing I blow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, yeah, go yeah, this yeah, go listen to the other episode. In February, that's going to be a reel and you're going to go crazy. <laughs> anyway, um so cut it out. But uh, I did the show in LA and a couple yeah. of po- a couple podcast listeners uh, after the show were like, "Hey, we have a free copy of Dragon Age if you want it." And they're like, "We'll send you the key cuz we you know we were listening to you talk about it." And I was like, "Oh my god, that'd be awesome." And they still haven't sent it to me. Yeah, they were lying. So I'm waiting. No, but they weren't. They were so they were fans. They weren't lying. They were like, where's Jim? You said, you said he died. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He died. If one more person, if if I don't bring Jim with me to a show and one more person says, where's Jim? He's dead. That's my new, my new answer. (laughs) Oh, Oh, he he died. died. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, no, you haven't heard? He's been imaginary the whole time. Yeah, here's the thing. I'll let you guys in on a secret. He's gay eye. I'll let you guys in on a secret, okay? I can't, so when I spend $600 on a flight Mm -hmm. to go make $300 at a show, Mm -hmm. It means I can't bring you with me. No, I know. But, <laughs> that's, they don't, that but that's not what they want to hear. I know. You can't tell them that. I know, I know. They're like, no, no, you figure out a way. Yeah. <laughs> but the show was great. I uh, I got a good tape out of it. I'm going to post some clips. LA was awesome. So I got into, dude, I got I got people mad at me about In-N-Out because I said In-N-Out fucking sucks. Uh, I think, it's not good. I think Shake Shack is way better. I don't even like Shake Shack. I think any, any burger place that isn't a chain restaurant is better than In-N-Out. Like, really? um, yeah, I don't know. I prefer, I mean, I think Shake Shack's got it down. Any place that makes a smash burger. You ever have a smash burger? Yeah, I don't like those as I much. I like them. I like Shake Shack, um, <laughs> as if I don't love all of them, <laughs> as if they're not all on speed dial right now, <laughs> as if I literally don't have a tattoo of each of them. <laughs> like, no, I do like Shake Shack the most, and then, um, I do like In-N-Out, but my last In-N-Out experience was co-opted by vomiting, diarrhea, and getting lost in in Denver. Well, you know why you know why people love In and Out so much is because it's the only thing in Los Angeles that isn't eight million dollars to eat. Mm-hmm. That that's, is true. That's why they love it. Like, you don't like In and Out, dude. It's li- it's literally so cheap. It's just slop. Hey, you know it's free dog shit on the mm-hmm. sidewalk. Also, human shit. Yeah. I saw more human shit than dog shit in L.A. So my, my problem with In-N-Out is I posted on my story. I said, hey, I'm going to be in L.A. In-N-Out is, is mediocre. And then everybody was like, no, dude, you got to get an animal style. Oh, I was like, well, okay, what the fuck is that? So you get a burger, but you get uh, it comes with and they, it comes with a bunch of bullshit on it, and I'm like, no, that is delicious. Yeah, but if a, but it uh, it doesn't make it not trash. Your burger 
a burger should be good by itself. I shouldn't I shouldn't have to add crap to it for it to be like, oh, well, now that I've added all this bullshit to it, now it's good. And you know what? I'm not even saying In N Out is bad. It's okay. It's fine. It's yeah. not worth it. But you the hype. also love Chiba Hut. I Chiba so Hut. So you're amazing. like a retard. No, 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 no. Chiba Ch- Hut is under Subway. It is not, you fucking idiot. Yeah, it is. I, I wouldn't eat at either of those oh places God. ever again. Chiba Hut is delicious. It is the worst fucking place ever. I took ever. you there and you lost your fucking mind. I the literally first time did we went. not lose okay. my mind. I, I you were also, like, this is delicious. We dude, why are you trying to be all cool now? I I'm not trying to be cool. Chiba no, Hut. You no, you were mad because I, I went there for breakfast and dinner every time you, we were in Denver. You did yeah, it's the only thing you wanted to do. Yeah. So and I understand that. Like you have all so it's mm-hmm. like you'd only like to do what you know is safe. Yeah, of course. Um, so and I, I understand that, and that's why I don't judge you for it. But yeah, that place sucks, dude. I love it. And our last experience there together was awful. Oh, well, that's because there was a we man. ordered hot food and they didn't like they literally like well, it somebody, took an hour to get it. Well, somebody died. Our friend, day. our friend ate two twice before we got our it food. Was, yeah, but it was the food's good. We had bad service the last time we were there. It but was the one in California. I don't know, awesome. man. I think you're. I think you're crazy. Well, so here's the thing. You went to the. You went to a food mecca. Like L. A. is like a food hub. Yeah, but it's all expensive. You could no. I'm. I'm. You could have gotten like the most delicious street food in your life for had, a fraction a, of the cost of there Chiba was Hut. A Chiba Hut. And here's so here's the thing. I didn't even know Chiba Hut was there. So I was hanging out with uh my buddy Tommy Mitchell, and I said and I said uh I said hey, so like what food is around here? What's somewhere where you gotta be like, oh dude, you haven't had this. You we're in L. A. You gotta have this. And he was like, he's like, oh, you don't like In N Out, do you? I was like, nope. So well, anything else? He was thinking. He was like, hmm. And I, I he was like, he's like, so like, what do you what do you mean? Like somewhere that's near here? And I said, yeah. For example, I was in Denver, and my buddy was like, dude, you have to try Chiba Hut. And he was like, oh, we have one of those. And I said, let's go there right now. And I went, and we went mm-hmm. there. And I didn't smoke any. Gray and I were sending each other pictures of you at Chiba Hut. We're yeah. like, this guy's a fucking piece of shit and a retard. Anyway, <laughs> so I uh, and a retard. I know, I know. I, yeah, I heard you. Um, um, just hammering it home. But no, I just I don't know. I just want you to have more fun. I had fun. I why would I if I know I lo- if I love no, Chiba you're not Hutt, having fun. I was having fun. I just, <laughs> I want I, you to do other stuff. Here's the thing. I, I hate when you don't. You're not how I am. Okay. Yeah. That's I fair. hate when you're like you and not like me. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I did start taking creatine recently. Mm-hmm. So that makes sense. Um, mm-hmm. I uh, no, but so I went to Chiba Hut, and my, I was I did, I wasn't smoking weed while I was in L.A. In fact, I was totally sober. Damn it, totally sober. And I was that's like, a really good place to get weed. I know. And I was like, let me let me figure out if if I was just really high when because I, I was high every day in Denver. Mm-hmm. I was like, maybe maybe I was just really high in Denver, and that's why Chiba Hut was good. Nope, it was true. Good, it was good sober. It was good sober. Mm-hmm. It was good sober. Mm-hmm. It was great. Hey, I, this might shock you, but sandwiches are just good. Yeah, <laughs> I just want you to try more stuff. Like next, like because for example, next time we go somewhere mm. together, like in like we're going to Cleveland next. Oh yeah, come, we're come doing back. what I want to do. Okay, well, we're not like we're not like finding Chiba Hut or like we're gonna have fun. We're gonna go look around for something. Okay, it's fine. You're like, but. You're shut like up. You relax. Yeah, it it's turns like, out. Yeah, what it's you, like you shut up. What do you want to do? Uh, yeah, you want to pay for gas along the way there. I'm all not, that well, that all, you that's your favorite thing. Mm-hmm. That's no, what. No, that's no. your favorite part. You get to. You get to be captain of the ship when you when you get us there. How about that? Mm-hmm. That's your. Mm-hmm. That's your. That's your. That's the deal. We're having fun in Cleveland, or I'm not going. I'm, I'll call the festival and be like, "Yeah, Rob's in a mood." I'm not gonna get. I'm not. There's no cheap hut out there. I already looked, so you're safe. <laughs> I checked. I, I was checked. checking. I was looking at all locations. There, the closest one is Florida. Now you did take us to a really good restaurant in Ohio. That I, was tasty. Did you like those burgers? Yeah, those were okay, good. Good. I don't even remember. So the you're name not of a it. total piece of shit. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, that's why I keep them around, folks. <laughs> um, so you're not a total loss. So anyway, I went to, uh, dude, I went to Eureka before I went to California. Mm-hmm. Their airport, so their airport is so fucking small. I Where's got off, Eureka? It's like way north in fucking California. Okay. And I got off the airport. I got off on the tarmac. I felt like it was like a private jet because I got off and I was mm-hmm. like, what the fuck? Like the airport is the size of a post office there. It's their only, it's like their only airport. And uh, dude, that the Eureka. It looked like it looked was like it I, more expensive to fly into there. What do you mean? Like you flew into Eureka? No, it was the same as like getting to California was all the same. It was just more. It was just the flight home was super cheap. L. A. to Philly was like ninety dollars. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, but it was it was really mm-hmm. cheap. It was awesome. But I got to Eureka, and the the airport was the size of a fucking post office. And uh, it looked, dude, that whole fucking area, the whole town felt like they built it right before I got there. Yes. It was like, oh shit, wait, he, wait, he's actually coming? 
Wait, shit. we wait. Fuck, we didn't know. We got. We were kidding. Build a this tarmac. Is, this isn't a real thing. And I, and I showed up, and they were like, "Dude, I swear, I the, dude, the guy with like the valet for like the cars and shit was TSA the next day. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. They all like there was like there was like eight people. There was the yeah. There's eight jobs. Yeah, <laughs> they're filled by multiple guys. Um, but yeah, and then I, and then I slept on uh slept on the stranger's couch when I was out there. That was that's fun. the best. Mm-hmm. I, well, that, la- last time I traveled, I fucking did that. I went to when we did went to Denver. Couch. I fucking I couch surfed. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. Otherwise, it's the only way you can travel and do. It's the only up. way you can literally be a loser everywhere, <laughs> everywhere in the country. Yeah, yeah. and then unless I, you're legitimately selling out everywhere you go. Yeah, and you're getting a hotel. You're just like couch surfing, being an actual fucking mm-hmm. piece of shit. Yeah, I got, and then when I got to LA, I crashed on my buddy Tommy Mitchell's couch and just farted on it constantly. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, <laughs> he was like, he was <laughs> his poor roommates. Hey, it's cool if Rob crashes. They're like, oh yeah, sure. Oh this, yeah, no problem. Here's the thing I though, was, he farts all night. Yeah, so I did uh, headline the show at Nightcap, super fun. And I got up at the comedy store. Yeah, what was that like? It was awesome. I met Bobby Lee. No uh, way. Yeah, yeah. He was ha- so, um, so funny story. So, I did. I got up at the comedy store. It better be. I got up in the. God, it better it's be. It's really not that funny. I don't know why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's more of just a factual thing that happened. So I got up at the comedy store, had a good set. It was in the OR, and then my and then Tommy. Was, he's calling it the OR now. Yeah, yeah. So I'm. So it's he, the OR. Yeah. So I'm gonna. I wrote my name on the wall in white sharpie. Um, <laughs> I wrote my name on the wall in white sharpie, dude. I, I I asked somebody at the store. Uh, side note, I was because they have all everybody's names out on the wall written in right. sharpie. People who are like past there, mm-hmm. and I, I turned to like another comic. I was like, "Hey man, how fast do you think I could write my name on there before they noticed?" And he looked at me. He's like, "Do not do that." And I was like, "I'm not actually gonna do it." Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, so I got up at the OR. I got up. At the, I got. Yeah, they call it the OR out there in LA. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you so see I went all three up, rooms. Uh, I saw the uh, OR in the belly room, mm-hmm. and uh, so I guess so. I got off, had a good set, and then Tommy was like, "Hey, we could go hang out in the back of the other room and watch." And I got to see Patton Oswalt, uh, Paulie Shore, and then Bobby Lee went up, and then that's when security came and was like, "You can't stand here. You can't stand here. You can't stand here." And they booted us like back to the the hallway, and I was like, "Okay, fair enough." But then after Bobby got off, he went and just hung out out front, out front, and he so he walks up to uh. So before Tom or before uh, Bobby goes on stage, he walks up to my buddy Tommy and he smacks him in the face, and he just points at him, and then he goes on stage, and then Tommy looks at me and he goes, "Yeah, he just he just kind of he likes to bully me," and I thought he was being like serious, and I was like, "Oh no, does is Bobby Lee mean?" And then afterwards, it, I, they were just like buddies. Afterwards, like we, he was outside, he's like, "Sorry, I slapped you," and he was like, "How much time can you do?" And my buddy Tommy was like, 20 minutes." He's like, "All right, I'll, I'll get you on the show." Just booked him like that. I was like, "Wow, is that how it works out here in LA?" But yeah, I talked to Bobby Lee for a minute. I watched him. I watched him react to magic tricks, which was cool. Um, like this magician was like, "Hey, Bobby, I heard you like magic," and he was like, "Yeah." And then he pulled out. He pulled out five one dollar bills, and he was mm-hmm. and then gave he, them to you. Yeah, and he, gave them, <laughs> he, no, he waved. He waved over them. And they turned into like five hundred dollar bills. And I was like, "Wow!" And then he left. But the, but but you give it to me now. Yeah, and then I have them. I have them forever. <laughs> Street magic's only good if I end up with five hundred dollars. Yeah, um, that's cool. So Bobby Lee, did you get to talk to him at all? Or yeah, it's cool. Weird? We, we, no, we talked about Project Twenty Twenty Five. It was cool. I don't know what that means, but he's like, "You in?" I was like, yeah, "Absolutely." I don't know. Yes. I don't care, but yes. I he could have asked me to do anything. That's so. I've funny. been like, "Yeah, I'm there." When I was there, I met uh, I met Kyle Kinane. Do you know him? Yeah, I know. Um, I think I probably told you this story probably like fourteen or fifteen times, but hanging outside of the front of the fucking comedy store after like all I sat front row for every show. Yeah. So I got crowd work every night. I'm literally just this fat stone guy in the front and they're like mm-hmm. easy pickings. Easy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like they're like, How fucking high are you right now? I had no idea the guy was talking to me. I look up, I was like, What? <laughs> he was like, What are you counting the rungs on the stool? I was like, Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. And uh, yeah, he's like, so what do you do? I was like, I'm a barista. At the time, I was working at Starbucks. I was like, I'm a barista. He was like, hell yeah. Nice. It's good to see one of the white guys do it. I was <laughs> like, I was like, you know. <laughs> That's funny. And I was like, well, I guess I do comedy now. Yeah, like, well, I can do that. Well, no, I'm better than that, yeah, actually. I can do that, yeah. Yeah, and then literally the guy that, like, yeah, so. I went up, I did the Laugh Factory open mic. Mm-hmm. And uh, the Laugh Factory is very, like, old school, apparently. So the, the open mic is clean. You can't cuss. And I was like, I went. Oh, old school meaning it, like, it sucks. Yeah. So I went up and my my opening joke, I said, oh, Kramer ruined it for everybody, huh? That got a pop. And then everything else I knew I was working on kind of ate it. 
Um, I've been trying to do this joke where it's like my mom smoked when she was pregnant with me, uh, which is weird because she never smoked before she was pregnant with me. <laughs> so that's like a weird time to pick up that habit. Mm-hmm. And they were like, I was mm-hmm. like, all right, well, I'll, I'll never tell that again. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, they, there was like no cussing. But yeah, it was cool. I got to see where uh, where uh, Michael Richard said the N word. Yeah, I was, I was there. there. It was like it was like uh, it was like uh, being a ground zero, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the towers have fallen, yeah. and this is what's left. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Richards just fucking he shows up while you're there. Oh you're my like, god, I'm a big fan. Oh my god, round two, big fan. I recite, <laughs> I recite your joke all the time in the car. Yeah, to my friend, and he does it back. <laughs> do it back. Yeah. Um, I did this joke last night on stage. I was talking to like. I was I was making fun of some like black dude in the crowd and I like pretended mm. like I was about to say the N word yeah. and I was like, What's up, man? Yeah. I went Nyum. Nyum. I, I kept going <laughs> I was like, You ever almost say it and then turn into a speedy car? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It was funny. Where was that at? It was at uh Brownies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Coincidence? <laughs> well, don't even get me started. Okay. There was a lot of them. <laughs> nice. I had my eye on all of them. <laughs> I, uh, I, th- I threw a Hail Mary when I was in L.A. You want to hear my Hail Mary? Yeah. I was So it was my last night in L.A. <laughs> and I realized, oh, wait, Nikki, Nikki Glaser lives out here, right? So I my last night in L.A., I text her. I say, hey, I'm in town if you want to grab dinner. <laughs> and she goes, no, I'm busy, but thanks. And I was like, next time. <laughs> it was really nice as she texted me back. And then so then she goes, no, I'm busy, thanks. And I was like, all right. And then my, I was hanging out at the store with Tommy mm-hmm. at that night and I was so tired. And I was like, dude, I'm, I'm, can I go back to your place and crash? My flight's at 6 a.m. I'm so exhausted. I want to go to bed. And Tommy was like, yeah, dude, I totally get it. No problem. So I go to bed. I wake up the next day, 6 o'clock in the morning. I check Instagram. Nikki Glazer's hanging out at the store at 1 o'clock in the morning. And I was like, that's my luck. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, okay, Rob's gone. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. <laughs> but no, it was funny. Hi. Hey, what's up? You want to grab <laughs> grab dinner? So funny. Yeah, I know. I was just trying to. I feel like that's the L.A. move. Do you want to like grab dinner? Do you want to like grab dinner? None of that's hilarious that you think that's an yeah, LA move. Like, they don't eat out there. Yeah. She's like, yeah, oh yeah, I love to. Yeah, this little five five gremlin. I'd love to mm-hmm. be seen with him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's yeah, like, she's yeah, like, literally, mega that famous. would show up in E News. It would be like <laughs> Nikki Glaser out to dinner with. <laughs> it's like a microwaved guy. <laughs> Nikki Glaser turn heads as she eats pistachio pudding with an absolute gremlin. What the fuck is going on in Los Angeles? Yeah, I figure it's worth a shot. That's super funny. The problem was I was I was. <laughs> <laughs> the problem was I was I was smoking a cigar at the time and I had a little bit of a head high from the smoke. Yeah, and it gave me the con. I was like, I can text her. Anytime that I- is yeah. nuts. <laughs> I tried next time. Next time, to- uh, yeah, next time. <laughs> next, you should have been like, I'm at the comedy store. What are you up to? Well, I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know. I figured you did the up. weirdest thing. Yeah, <laughs> you, you somehow did the dumb yeah, thing. Yeah, <laughs> I, know. I, know. I know. But you know, what are you gonna do? It was because uh, if you had known that, like if you had been like, well, I thought at the she, store. I thought she, well, I didn't know because she's like super famous. I was like, I don't know if she wants to go there and get like mobbed and stuff. I was, you know, mm-hmm. so, so I didn't. I well, didn't. the store they don't get mobbed at the store because the store they're there all the time. I guess yeah. It's not like that, you know. It's not like when someone comes to Philly and that's true. They start raping. Yeah. Them. Oh my gosh. Yeah. When Casey, let's comes get out of here. When Casey comes to Philly and they fucking would, like, oh my god, he's like. Yeah, he gets that's so to- funny. Let's get out. It's just literally the other comics. Let's get out of here. Um, that's so funny. But yeah, it was, but yeah, Bobby was just hanging. Nobody was. Everybody was like walking past him. I was like, nobody seeing exactly. this. Exactly. I know. Yeah, that's, I was what, like, that's how I felt. I was, I was like, I was trying to be like, I was trying to not be a weirdo. So I wasn't like, hey, man, it's impossible. Dude. It's impossible to so, not be weirdo. Yeah, I know. But so I was just like, I just like, I just stood next to him, and then Tom, and then Tommy introduced me. He was like, this is my buddy Rob. He was like, hi. I was like, hey, what's up? He was like, you in? Is a project twenty twenty five? You in? I was like, yeah. He's like, for real? I was like, mm-hmm. I had no, still don't know what it is. It's it basically like Trump like trying to, like I don't know, like eat babies publicly oh, okay. now. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. He wants to like get rid of the blacks, get rid of the Asians, get okay, rid of nice. the gays, all in one swoop. Sweet. Ten giant mega buses. Whatever, whatever Bobby Lee wants me to do, I'll do it. Yeah. Is he? Yeah, no, I, I like him. He's funny. He's great. He, um... 
He was doing a joke, and then all of a sudden, he just showed everybody on stage that he shaved his pubes. I thought that was funny. Mm-hmm. He's like, I shaved my pubes, and he pulled it down, and he went bald. I was like, he's not the only... People call me a psychopath. I go bald. Why do you go bald? I don't know. Bobby Lee goes bald. You're, like, molesting yourself when you no, jerk off? No, it's no, so no. weird. No. If, Touch no. my young crotch, me. <laughs> <laughs> You're, like, molesting yourself. That's no, so weird. I'm not molesting myself. <laughs> um, Rob's his own rapist. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than, being, Stop. better than being somebody else's, I guess, right? Uh, well, you never know. <laughs> you never know. You never know until you do it. Yeah. <laughs> it is a yeah, blood put that, put that on my tombstone. Mm-hmm. Are you going to get buried or cremated? I don't want to think about it. Yeah, I don't want to think about it. Here's the, cause the, I, I decided for you. Yeah, because the thing about... They're crema- going to fill you with candy. <laughs> the thing about cremation is like, even when they cremate you, a lot of the shit that you're getting, you're getting a little mix of whoever else was in that oven, Well, too. I'm not going to examine it ever. I know, but still, it's like, I don't want to... I want some of your grandma, some of his grandma. Yeah, and- everybody gets some. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I don't want to think that far ahead. When I die, do we, when I die, it's do not we as want. far ahead as you think. Oh, I went, to, <laughs> I went to the Museum of Death when I was in California. You ever go to that? You went there? Yeah. Wow! Mm-hmm. I didn't go there. It's. Uh, I went to the. Uh, I went to the Chinese theater. I went to. Uh, oh, careful! You're cutting out there. Why is it doing that? Because you're touching the cord. I'm not. T- I'm not, I'm not okay, touching right, the cord. Okay, you're good. I haven't touched the okay, cord. Okay, you got? Yo, can action replay? Can we get a fucking <laughs> never touch the cord? Okay, sorry. Rob buys faulty equipment with his made up monopoly money, and now uh-huh. I'm the problem. Anyway, you went to the Chinese theater. Went to the Chinese theater. I went to. I saw. Oh, I. I like. I guess I stare. Like there was like a Marilyn Monroe impersonator. Mm-hmm. So like in L. A. on Hollywood Boulevard, they'll just like have like celebrity impersonators that like are just, they just stand still. Right. What are those called? Impersonators, but like they don't move. Oh, I know. It's not like a mime, but it's like they. Yeah, like she was they're, like they're she like, was like frozen. They're street performers. So I guess I like stared at her for too long. Uh-huh. I like literally, I I had to have stood there for like a minute. <laughs> You're and so high. I, I was I wasn't even like I wasn't uh-huh. even really staring at her. I was kind of just like looking at everything because uh-huh. there's like shit on the ground. There's shit yeah. everywhere. And like the guy was like, "Yo, yo, 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 yo," like pay up i'm like what really like, i'm like standing there looking at the lady he's like you like what are you counting how many seconds i'm looking at her <laughs> you get 10 free seconds after that and we're fucking th- you're not allowed to look i'm like what the fuck <laughs> what happened you can look but you can't touch yeah what happened to touch but don't look mm-hmm. you know what i mean stevie wonder style yeah stevie, <laughs> stevie wonder style <laughs> yeah touch but don't look yeah one of those is the name mm-hmm. of the episode stevie wonder style i like that <laughs> Um, I um I loved L.A. I was like, you know what's cool about L.A.? I get to leave. Yeah. That's, I was that's ready the fun to go. Part. I was ready to go the by best, the time. The best part about L.A. is spending exactly four days there and mm-hmm. then going. I was there for ten. Yeah. Mm-hmm. By the ninth day, I was like, I can shave off a day mm-hmm. next time I come. Yeah. I did it all. I did it. I hung out with. I hung. I met up with friends that I hadn't talked to in years because mm-hmm. they were out there. They were at Temple University at the time doing like film stuff, and they oh. went out to L. A. for like a semester. And I like hit them up randomly, and they were like, "Hell yeah, come out!" Yeah, we majored in being annoying. Um, yeah. And so I just like met up with a bunch of dudes that were on like crazy different path. At the time, I had no path. Mm-hmm. I was just working, just being a turd. People out there are so uh, pretty. Pretty. It's, yeah, it's it's impressive. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the girls are. A lot of the guys are just kind of. I, th- I like, now it's, I like it's East for everybody. Coast, I like East Coast chicks because they're a little chunkier. Mm-hmm. They're chunkier and they're meaner. And I yeah. think that's better women. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, I, if I yeah, I like a little chunky short queen. <laughs> but yeah, but they also have to be a little bit mean. Yeah, in L A. So? In L A. I think in L A. It's like a dismissive mean. Here, it's like a shitty mean. Yeah, they'll like talk shit at you, but even if they like you. Speaking of Hollywood, you've been following any of this Diddy stuff. I refuse to because I, I think heard. I I have this mentality where it's all just a distraction uh, from the government doing really fucked up shit right in front of us and no one's paying attention to it because Diddy. Oh well, I think both things are true. So I think I also uh, just don't care about Diddy. I, I you know what it cracks I can't me escape up? it. So that's the thing. You know what cracks me up about the whole thing is that he the movie uh, the movie Get Him to the Greek. Mm-hmm. He just plays exactly who he is in real life. Yeah, there's no acting involved. Yeah, none. It's biggest loser time. Yeah. It's biggest loser time. It's Is daddy's, daddy's favorite, favorite show. show. It's good. Yeah. It's a, um, yeah. I heard a funny thing. Uh, I, somebody was like interviewing. Oh yeah. And by the way, I've been going to open mics and like every comedian has like a Diddy take. Yeah. So now I, it's just been raped. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't. It's ironically. Just been, it's just been skull fucked. It's been Diddy. It's been Diddy. 
No Diddy. <laughs> no Diddy. Yeah. Stop people saying no Diddy. I'm like, I don't get it. Yeah, I fucking of course everybody's got a bit about it. Um, it's the worst thing you've ever heard. Yeah, but so yeah, but the one thing I did, a comedian because this one guy on TikTok was going around like interviewing celebrities about Diddy, Gross. and he walked up to um, uh, Jeff Ross and he oh, said no. he said what are your thoughts on Diddy? He said he should change his name to Definitely, <laughs> like because Diddy. <laughs> I thought that was that's pretty, funny. Yeah, that's good. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's what every open mic comic is like. Fuck, why don't you think of that? Damn it! And it's like Diddy, more like diddle diddly. 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 Hey, why isn't everybody laughing? Dude, I was at the comedy store. Definitely. I was, really the, I was at the comedy store and a bunch of comics went up and was like, I hate when they do this. Like, a lot of people weren't getting laughs and this one, I kept going, why aren't you guys laughing? What's wrong? You guys are weird? Like, like one of the comics was like attacking the crowd. Um, yeah, no, I've never done that. Yeah, well, no, but no, like I not in a, not in a funny way. I actually haven't. Yeah, and they went, and then one of the uh, one of the audience member goes, "We laughed, but at comedians," and then that got the, that got a big pop. <laughs> but yeah, so I. I but I you had it. a good set on that show. I did. I played the hits. I I was oh, like I was like I did dirty boy. Yeah, I did like uh, I did like forty million views in three minutes. Mm. So that was that's mm. what I did. Played three the, three minutes. Mm-hmm. So, oh yeah, I want to make a good first impression. So mm-hmm. I did. I did. Uh, well, I was bluffing. Ah. Did they fucking I, pop? They were like, "Oh my god, a joke!" Then, thank God. Holy fuck! Someone saw oh, this man. He's telling a Someone joke. Someone saw this man. Put him next to Robin Williams on the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Throbbing Williams. Man. <laughs> <laughs> he's so hard. Yeah. Yeah. Red Ben Williams. Because I'm red. Uh-huh. No. Anyway, mm-hmm. um, Red Robin Williams. Okay, there you go. That was, that was way better. Anyway, because you like burgers he, and you're a red piece he, of shit. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like pays for his own Uber home. <laughs> He's like sick. literally is a fat faggot. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll show you how to make reels later. Ah. You don't want to learn? Ah. You keep saying you teach me. I don't, don't have know. a computer to do it. So I, I have it upstairs. I'll literally show you. No, I meant like like literally at my house. I oh, don't okay, because I I brought that up to you, and then you yeah. said I had one, and now I don't. Okay, so that's what weird. happened to it. It's gone. You're just making. Shit I up swear now. to God. Okay. Mm-hmm. Swear to God. I was borrowing my buddy's laptop, and now he has it again. Uh, okay. So that's the really fun thing. Yeah, I'm borrowing TJ Lee's 256 gigabyte SD card that he keeps texting me about. I'm like, yeah, I'll give it to Jim. Yeah, I know. I, I have like I have like eight videos on. I need to transfer off before I give it to him. I keep well. I he he doesn't need it right now anymore because Good. I just gave him another one that Good. he has at my house. Good. Yes. Good. Tell him to stop texting me. No. No. <laughs> just kidding. We love TJ Lee in this household. Um, <laughs> but yeah. But so did you see all the shit about? Did you see the the new conspiracy th- theory with Diddy? Well, there's all the all the shit. I like, saw nothing, so you could just lie all you want. Okay, so. Um, apparently there's this new conspiracy that like at award shows, like a lot of people who won like Grammys, whatever the fuck they're called, they always thank, be- they always like, this is like, this is, I'm so happy to be here, but like Beyonce, I'm such a fan. They like, they like give props to Beyonce. I saw that. And it's a rule, like this is the th- conspiracy theory. It's a rule in LA that when you get an award and you're going against Beyonce or whoever in the industry, Beyonce specifically, if you don't acknowledge her, she'll like sacrifice you to the Illuminati or some crazy shit. And then, so now the thing is, what if Kanye was the good guy all along when Taylor's getting the award, and he goes on stage, he's like, oh, fuck, and he runs on stage, and he goes, Taylor, I'm really happy for you, I'm gonna let you finish, but Beyonce had one of the best awards at all, or one of the best albums of all time, and gives the mic back to her. He, like, because she wasn't gonna, like, say anything, because I guess she, she was, like, a new musician or whatever, and now everybody's saying that he saved uh, Taylor Swift. <laughs> You think, am I a retard or is that... I think you're a retard. Okay. I think the concept of sacrificing people to the Illuminati is hilarious. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> yeah. But all, it can all, I could be completely wrong because the ultra rich operate differently. Yeah. So, it's tough to, it's tough to imagine how that works out. Well. You know. I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't know. I'm scared of the entertainment industry. I think it's really weird. Outside of comedy, I think it's really weird. Even in comedy, like comedy is kind of weird, but like comedy, like it's really all you. It's all us. Yeah. You know, or it's all on us. I don't have to like, you know. Well, I've yapped about my my week and stuff. What have you been up to? 
Oh man, I, let's keep talking about your week. Oh, How really? about that? Yeah, you're gonna your birthday's tomorrow. Oh yeah, birthday. How old are you? Twenty seven. Oh man, I have three hundred and sixty four Th- days before I'm dead. How <laughs> cool is that? Why is that? Wait, wait. I'm dying at twenty seven. Oh, I'm gonna really? be part of that cool club. Twenty seven club. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Twenty. I had yeah, a- you know how I'm gonna do it. What? I'm gonna eat twenty seven clubs. <laughs> <laughs> I uh I had a <laughs> come on yeah that's good I had a realization I'm getting old I was at the gym oh, three less than usual yeah. <laughs> something you yeah know, I'm, keep sorry. It going. I'm sorry keep it going. I'm sorry I'm sorry I know yeah come on I was letting you have it's, that no good. it's it's like a thing oh, you okay. keep going okay. it's yeah. funny All right, do it we again. riff do it again ah it's over with two, 27 clubs <laughs> oh man three more than usual uh, three more than usual not three oh, less oh wow yeah three more than usual uh, yeah. Because the implication is that you normally eat 25. Mm-hmm. Oh, and you did the math wrong. 24. That sucked. Yeah. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> send us more teeth. Yeah, send us more teeth and feet. <laughs> um, but what was I going to say? See, you fucked it up. I was going to talk. Oh, I- my week? Oh, uh, man. I, uh, gosh. Uh, what did I do? Oh, my cat pissed on my laundry. Mm-hmm. That's the worst thing that happened to me all week. My cat got in my laundry bag. I didn't fold my clothes. Uh-huh. And my cat got in my laundry basket and I guess got like super comfy. And she's like an old cat. She got yeah. like super comfy laying in the clothes and was like, you know what? I'm just going to lay now. I'm just going to piss right in the clothes. So I was like, I was, I, I, I put a shirt on right. and I smelled it. And I was like, awesome. Now I, I, now I have cat piss on me. <laughs> Which is always great. Yeah. Um. So she's getting old, and I'm like, all right, well, she's getting old. You need to kill that cat. I know. Well, and, and my the dog. dog. Your dog. And your, my dog. All your pets need to die. My dog. And, and your my, aunt. Yeah, I have got everybody, so, everybody in your house has to die. Everybody who keeps pooping on the floor. Has the to wrong die. thing keeps dying in my house. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong people keep dying in my house. Um. So yeah, my dog needs to die. My cat needs to die. My aunt needs to die. <laughs> um. <laughs> my mom's dead. My brother's yeah, dead. Yeah, they got the wrong one. Uh, I'm just kidding. Your aunt's probably really nice. I never met her. Yeah, probably really. She's probably really sweet. She's so nice. Um, oh, I so I went to the gym today with uh, my buddy, my buddy Mike, mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> and so he was like, he's like, hey, I gotta go, I gotta go run into the house real quick. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, cool. He's take, taking forever. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what the fuck? What's he doing? He comes out. He's like, yeah, sorry, I was getting my dick sucked. I was like, nice. Mm-hmm. He's like, he's like, yeah. Swears he's me. Yeah, but and then so he could say in the car, he's like, yeah, but I didn't come because I didn't want it to ruin my workout. And I was like, dude, what are you talking about? It's not going to fuck up your workout, right? I was like, you should have just bust it. What's that going to do? Like, it's, like, it's not going to get rid of your testosterone. He's like, nah, dude, I want to bench. I want to be strong. And then so I was like, yeah, whatever. And then I got home after my after my workout and I rubbed one out and immediately passed out on the couch. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, I, that, that makes sense. I get it now. I never thought about that, how, how jacking it can affect your energy or your like workout. You know? Really? Yeah. Because anytime I've ever needed to sleep, I bust and then I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. It's usually the recipe. I'm like, f- I'm like rolling around in bed. I'm like, what's my problem? <laughs> and then I literally shoot a load and I'm like, I don't I, even have time to think. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I uh, yeah well yeah I came back from L A because I obviously I didn't bust at my buddy's place and I came back and my dick was like we need to we need to talk we need to talk we upstairs, need to talk mister. upstairs right now <laughs> so that's cool yeah yeah I had a pretty cr- I had a, one of the more profound busts of my life this week it was oh pretty really crazy. yeah was it when you watched one of my stand up clips yeah I was just I, it just I kept coming just came out uh, uh, I kept coming and I was bluffing uh, 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 and I was busting uh, uh, <laughs> yeah yeah no I don't know I've been uh, my life is so weird uh, that sobriety coin bit I told you about has been doing really well oh that's good yeah that's great I told yeah wow mm-hmm that's all I got. That's all I got for that. Um, yeah, sobriety's a bitch. I ever tell you about how my grandpa used to take me to AA meetings when I was a kid? Oh, I gotta tell you something. Remi- remind me AA meetings when you're done. Go okay, ahead. all right. So, uh, you know how, like, like you know, I, I, I like to spend the time with my grandpa as a kid. And, like, I don't know, we used to, like, <laughs> we used to go to, like, the movies and stuff and, like, go, like, have lunch and shit. Yeah. Eventually, it, like, transitioned into him, like, taking me on, like, crazy adventures. Mm-hmm. Like, we used to go pick up his girlfriend from weekend jail. <laughs> and he would take, like, he would take me to, like, he had, like, a he had like a bunch of different, like, bitches he was fucking around with. So, like, he would, like, take me around town and I would just leave cigarettes on their stoops. 
like he would buy cigarettes for these women and I we would like deliver it. <laughs> I was just door dashing cigarettes to women like drunks all over the city. Man, your your grandpa sounds like a pimp. He was a pimp and he had a penile implant. Was this the one who said, I, I, I'm going to drink again, but not today. Not today. That was him. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. He also bought me 40s when I was 15. I said they were for my dad. <laughs> he bought me 40s when I was 15 and I was like, dang, grandpa. <laughs> And literally all my friends like thought I was the king and the goat. Because <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I got it myself. They think I'm 21. <laughs> How old you? 15. I was 15. I st- yeah. That's pretty great. Yeah, they served me. And then they were like, oh, yeah, let's get more 40s. And I was like, wow, I can't go twice in a day. Mm-hmm. Can't go twice in a day. <laughs> don't know something. Yeah, I don't know something's weird. Yeah. I was like, Wait a minute. Weren't you that guy in here earlier? Wait a minute. Weren't you that kid from earlier? <laughs> no. The- no adult drinks twice in a day. <laughs> no adult comes back to the liquor store. <laughs> no kids ever drank 840s. <laughs> That's always a shameful move. Well, when you when you buy a bunch of booze, and you're like, this is enough, and you're back like six hours later. Yeah, or when you're like hammered, and you take that extra drink, and you're like... Now I feel bad. My mom likes to tell a story about my dad. My dad got turned away at a liquor store once because he was so fucked up. Mm. He walked in. He got rejected in a liquor store. My mom was like, I didn't know this, that could happen. Mm-hmm. It happened to your father. I was like, thanks, mom. What a what a wholesome story. Yeah. I hey, used you know to, your dad? I used to drive I used to drive around, and I we used to, with your, with your sisters, and we used to go to bar to bar trying to find him. Yeah, like, like cool. Uh, He's dead. Can you tell me like a more fun and happier story? <laughs> and then he, he kissed you under like yeah, a, under yeah. a maple tree or something. Yeah, like, something where it's not sad as fuck. Uh, yeah, that was before. Cell yeah, phones. now all my dad's stories. He'll be like, yeah, we used to go to this restaurant. Blah blah blah. Now she's fucking dead. <laughs> like that's how all his stories uh, end now. And I'm like, okay, we already know that part. Yeah, I was like, here's what's crazy. I know that part of the story. <laughs> yeah, you don't. I live that. You don't part have to of the remind story. me. Like, yeah. I was like, "Hey, brother, your mom lived to be ninety. Yeah, I get to like not have you be annoying. Yeah. So me and your trying mother- to explain to my dad that he has to stop being annoying about her being dead. It's like <laughs> annoying. It's like you told me. You told me the funny story about your dad to put the peanut butter in the mouse trap. Tell that story. I don't know if you told. Oh, me. the peanut butter in the mouse trap. Yeah, that's. A- yeah, my dad put peanut butter on mouse traps in our house, and then forgot that he like didn't get more peanut butter. And then I swear to God, there was a moment where he was contemplating. I watched it happen in his in his head. I watched it. I watched his eyes go. Maybe I could take a little bit off of this trap. <laughs> like I watched him like contemplate, like taking a little bit off the trap and saving it for, a for tomorrow oh. for his tomorrow peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think he sucked it up and literally just ate a raw tomato <laughs> the next morning. <laughs> like your, da- your dad's a my king. dad. My dad eats like a Balkan guy. <laughs> my yeah. my dad will just eat a tomato. He'll be like, it's fucking good. I'm like, okay, depression. My dad likes to pretend he grew up in the Depression era. Mm -hmm. He'll eat a tomato sandwich with nothing on it. Old men love to put salt in the tomato. That's all they do. I swear to God, it's all he does. Uh, What? What? It's good. It's literally not. Oh, yeah. I hate to break it to you, bro. I bet you like bread, pussy. No, he... he, he, Yeah. Like... I, it, old men freak me out. They're, yeah, do they? Do that? Yeah, they freak me out. <laughs> yeah, right. You're gonna, you're gonna marry them? Yeah, exactly. Um, my uh, you were talking about it earlier. My uh, my meme, the meme scram, scram. Yeah, he he doesn't want to talk. Leave her alone. He he doesn't want to talk to you. It's mm-hmm. me talking old head. I haven't spoken. Scram. I haven't spoke. I sent uh, we 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 a little brief, but we're not hanging out anymore. Um, I posted on my story. Um, you ever have a situation ship that lasts eleven months and it ruins your life? Yeah, I can't wait to hear about how you're talking to him again. In a oh week. man! Um, so I so I talk, so my Instagram. Somebody said In and Out is better than your comedy. You confused and bisexual. Sorry, excuse of a comedian. They follow me too. I said, jokes are supposed to be funny, just a heads up. And he said, that was not a joke, buddy. The Scram girl is better comedian than you. And she is funny. Uh, mm-hmm. Put some put some respect on her name. How about mm-hmm. that? Mm-hmm. She, there she is on my For You page. What's your name? Her name's uh, uh, Kel, Kel, uh, Kel Kripe. Uh, hard, to, hard, to, hard to say. Mm-hmm. Hard to pronounce, but they're way fun. better. Scram girl's a way better name. Yeah. Scram. She should legally be Scram girl. L- leave her alone. She's probably selling out right now. Mm-hmm. I need to go. I need to be more famous, like right right now. Mm-hmm. You gotta shave your face. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, you look I, insane. Really? Yeah, you look like a muskrat. 
Like a cute one? I also know. Like a, oh. like one that like I'm like, ew, it's eating a condom type of muskrat. <laughs> ew, it's got AIDS. I can what, tell. What if uh what if I grew what do you think I would look if I grew out like a really nice beard, do you think I'd look cute? Well, I know genetically you can't. So I don't know. Well, what if I? Because I'm once I get. What if I get on the Accutane? My my skin clears up and like maybe. The, I don't think that they don't. That's not. There's no correlation. But please. No. But it is. No. Yeah. So I think. Yeah. So I'll have a beard any day. <laughs> you need now. to get. You need to get on testosterone. Yeah, I need a transition from boy to man. I've already yeah, talked about this. Yeah. <laughs> but, so we, you're talking about your birthday coming up. Here's how I realized I was getting old. So I was. I'm in the gym, right? And my buddy Mike, he spot me and he goes. You ever think about hopping on tests? He's like, I'm thinking about hopping on tests. And I was like, I don't know, man. Maybe in like my 30s. And that's next month. I literally had that thought. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, man. Maybe my... Th- I'm like, tests in my prime? <laughs> I was like, maybe in my 30s when I'm old. I'm going to be 30 next month. That's really scary. Yeah. So I'm going to be... But I'm going to be I like, can't wait to hand in my two-week notice for the podcast. <laughs> for the friendship. <laughs> <laughs> friendship two-week notice. Hey, just giving you a heads up. I'm moving on. Yeah. But then once... It, but then give it like 30 more years. And then you'll be you'll be like, hey, I'm back. Yeah, right. Because I'll be hot. You think I'm going to be you'll around be for 30 years? It's actually really flattering. <laughs> I've yeah. got like five at best. You gotta stop doing that thing where you're like, yeah, no, I'm on like a strict diet. And then you pull like the sugariest like... Like fucking juice out of my fridge. Mm-hmm. It had zero sugar. Oh, did it? Yes, oh, I thought those I, ocean, it. I thought those ocean spray things are bad for you. It said zero sugar. That's why I grabbed. Oh, okay, it. nice. Good job then. Thanks. Good job. <laughs> well, I don't know. I went in for a diss and you proved me wrong. When are you gonna go to the gym with me? Uh, well, uh, when? Uh, never. I don't know. Maybe when? I don't know. Some other time. Are you scared of being judged? No. Because what if I told you there's a gym where it's a judgment free zone? Wait a minute. God, I feel like it would only exist on like another planet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like a planet where like I don't know, like everyone's like into fitness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, on the road, I was pretty much cosplaying as a homeless guy, just showering at Planet Fitnesses. That's really funny. Just yeah, that's. I mean, that's also smart. Yeah, because I have membership. When you get you're a membership, you're resourceful. You're like Bear Grylls. When I have a membership, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, uh, <laughs> fuck, fuck, hang on, think of a pun, think of a pun. No. Bear Grylls chicken. <laughs> no. I, uh, fuck. <laughs> Barely Grylls. <laughs> uh, I'm trying. Hang on. Over gr- Grill. I oh, fuck. All right. Leave a comment and let us know. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, nah, you should go to the gym with me. <laughs> you should go to the gym with me. <clears throat> Work out. Get a pump. Yeah, I'm down. You meeting it? Not tomorrow. You meeting it? Not on my birthday, but yeah. Yeah, not on my birthday or like... Ever. Or like any day in between my birthday. <laughs> yeah, I'll go to the gym with you. That'd be fun. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't care. Do you Maybe. have any plans for your birthday? No. No? No, I was like, I was secretly hoping that my friends would like get together and like do something, but uh, that's a hilarious thought. Yeah. Um, Is there anything you want me to do for you? No, I I can't think of anything. I kind of just want to... I'm probably just going to lay around all day and be sad. No, don't do that. I'm super going to do that. I have negative $60. <laughs> no improvement from last week, actually. It's really cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't fucking know. I got no plans. It's a Thursday. I have the worst day this year. It's Thursday. Yeah, but you could always stretch it in the weekend, you know. Yeah, I know. You're headlining a show. I'm not a you're... black girl. I can't do like a full birthday weekend. Birthday. That's what. Birthday. Oh man, that's what Britt. Oh, I can tell you what I got. Britt doesn't listen to the podcast, so I can tell you what I what I got her big thing for her birthday. Oh yeah, it's Halloween, know? right? Uh yeah. So, uh, the day after Halloween, we're doing this thing called a uh, Fork and Film. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's where you go. <laughs> they, it's like select theaters. They only have certain theaters in the United States. Right, dinner and a movie. Yeah, but so yeah, but it's like cooler than that. So you go to a you go to a movie. So we're seeing Ratatouille, mm-hmm. and she doesn't know it's a surprise, and she doesn't listen to the podcast, so it's, it's not like she'll know. Um, but uh, we're gonna go see Ratatouille, and basically, um, they so the entire time you're watching the movie, they bring you out. It's an eight course meal, and they bring you out. Uh, a, they bring you out like a different meal depending on the scene. So whatever he's cooking in that scene, they bring it out to you. And they do this for like any movie, like uh, like any movie, like Finding Nemo or like whatever movies. It's they they bring food out to match whatever you're watching on the screen. Mm-hmm. And it, it was, it's cool. Please, mm-hmm. it's cool. She's gonna like it. Mm-hmm. I'm just okay. What what do you, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 
I was just thinking about like the different types of movies that you could do that have like terrible things oh. that happen in it. Yeah, well, Scream is one of them. And I wonder, I wonder what what the fuck they serve that. It's they probably, just walk out and stab your wife in the chest. It's probably like guts. They're like spaghetti made of like ah, oh, it's fucking guts. <laughs> it's guts. Ooh. Guts. Guts. Parmesan. And I was filling out the questionnaire for the thing, and it's like, how many people in your party will be consuming alcoholic beverages? And I was like, one. one. The angriest one I ever wrote. One. 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 Fucking one. Yeah, so. One. Sobriety journey continues. The longer I go, f- at first I was like, the first two weeks, I was like, yeah, I don't need alcohol. They say at like week five, you really start to crave it. Really? No. Uh, I don't I do not do research, Well, brother. I was going to say. Uh, Anytime that I've ever said a thing where it's like, they say, yeah. it's made up. Yeah. I'm they. <laughs> I've always been they. You've always been they, them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they, them, Gillespie. But I, the longer I go without drinking, the more I'm like, for the first two weeks, I was like, man, I don't, I don't need alcohol ever again. And I was in L.A. sober. I was like, this sucks. But I'm, I'm going to, I want to get on Accutane. I can go six months without drinking easy. And if I make it that long, who knows? Maybe I'll be a different, maybe a whole new Rob. You know? Yeah, I mean, I also don't give a fuck about booze, so. Yeah. Um, I could totally stop, too, if it makes it easier for you. Yeah. Pretty much. Until literally you go to helium, you're like, I'll have 18 beers, please. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but if you were like, hey, I don't feel like being around you when you're hammered, I'd be like, okay. I don't care. I, I like, I don't mind being around people when they're drunk. Oh, I do. Doesn't bother me. I can't be around drunk people and not also be drunk. Oh, me really? Drunk. Yeah, because it just reminds me of being a kid. Oh. And that's not fun. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I just feel like I'm going, uh-huh. Yeah. So you can't. So you, I guess you can't be hungry around people who are full too, huh? <laughs> does that remind you? Works? Does that remind you being a kid? Yes, it does. <laughs> um, yeah, that's why I can't eat boxed mashed potatoes. That's why I can't eat apple butter. I saw some. I saw a post that said taters on the go, and it's somebody they put <laughs> instant and they shook it up in a thing. There. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I'm pretending it wasn't you. Yeah, yeah, pretending like you didn't like think you could do that. Oh, what was the thing? Oh, tell me about your Uber driver. Remember you said we'll bring it up organically on the podcast. And oh, I, I, I had a <laughs> last time you were in L.A. Yeah, so I was. We were talking about L.A. and uh, when I was in L.A., I got picked up by an Uber, and uh, I was going to the comedy store. And he goes, "I'm past there." He's like, "I I perform there all the time." I was like, "Oh wow, cool." And I remember, like, remember I remembered his name. And then I went home, and I, 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 I don't know, I, I periodically would, like, look him up. Mm-hmm. And I remember the last time I looked him up, it was like, it literally was like, comedian canceled for being creepy to his passengers in a lift. Yeah. And I was like, and he was, like, also, like, racist and shit. Mm. And um, What a crazy cocktail. It was very funny. I remember being like, man... He drove you I around. I must have been ugly because he didn't fucking do anything to me, he dude. Wanted, he didn't want to touch you. Yeah, I was looking Can cute I tell you, you know too. what nobody said to me when I was in L.A.? I was going to ask you. Can I tell you something? You look like you like big black dicks up your, up your ass. I just told our uh, my, my new friend that. Uh, Trevor? Yeah, my new friend Trevor. We've been... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, we've been saying the N-word in the car. So I was nice. like, all right, check this out. Uh, we've been saying the N-word in the car. Um, no, so I was just telling him that story, but I was talking about you being in L.A. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was like, yeah, I've been to L.A. And he was, he'd was he been to L.A. Um, Wow, three people have been to a place? What? 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 Crazy. Yeah. Um, so he was telling me about that. And I told him, I was like, yeah, my first time there, I got, I got out of the lift to walk into my condo. And the fucking guy... Sitting out front, sitting on a fucking suitcase. Like, can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? <laughs> I was like, uh huh. My favorite. You look like you like big black dicks up your ass, and it's my favorite <laughs> thing ever. It's the it's the voice and the delivery. I can see it. <laughs> up your oh ass. no, thanks. And you being like, oh, oh no, oh, no, no thanks. Thanks. I'm just checking oh, in. Oh no, th- no, thanks. I wasn't even gay yet. <laughs> I hadn't even. He called it. Yeah, he knew. He knew. <laughs> he knew. <laughs> No, Jim. People you're, now. What's well, funny Jim. is now that I'm out, people are like, "We knew." I'm like, "You didn't." But Jim, you were always gay. You were born that way. He saw it. Yeah, he knew. He saw it. I mean, I always you knew. Like, you like I came out. In, I came out in middle school and got put back in the closet. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, and they're like, ah, and I give him some more no, time. No, they were like, "You're just poor and bored. Get in there." My parents weren't like, they weren't like biblical, so it yeah. didn't make sense for them to not accept me for being gay. I think it just sounded expensive. 
And this was before. Yeah, that's true. They're like, oh no, that sounds expensive. Fuck. We, we, no, we, you're not. We, we can't afford sequins. I was about to say sequins are more money. Yeah. <laughs> How are we gonna get them sequins? Sweatpants. You're not gonna have three backpacks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can get it. Yeah, I didn't even have a backpack. I used to fucking walk around with my books in a belt. <laughs> I'm just so. kidding. That's not real. That, I mean, I believed it. Yeah, that's not real. That's like what the pilgrims did. Yeah. Um, are you gonna see Joker two? No. I want to see it. Mm-mm. I thought Joker one was kind of lame. I want to see Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn. She looks. I think. Ew. She, what do you mean? She's ugly as fuck. No. Harley Quinn's hot. No. <laughs> you think she's hot? I think. I think she. I think she's pretty. Lady Gaga. Like a pretty man. No. Bro, she has like she looks like Peyton Manning. See. I don't watch sports, so doesn't matter to me. Falls on deaf ears. Yep. So she, for, she's a, she's my she's my baby. I'm mama just queen. kidding. I don't actually think she looks like Peyton Manning. She also has the best scene in any movie ever. When in in uh, a Star is oh, Born. Oh, I haven't seen that. A uh, Star is Born. What did she um, do? Uh, okay, so she gets out of the car. He drops her off at home. She drops her off. It's Bradley Cooper, of course. He drops her off at home. She's walking away, and uh, he goes, "Hey," and she like turns around, and he goes, "I just want to take another look at you." Oh, really? Yeah, and I literally was in the theater like, Oh, my oh, God. Fuck, you want to take another oh, look? Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> I was coming all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, so eventually I'll have a love like that where I'm like a singer, mm-hmm. <laughs> and like I meet like a guy singer. Yeah. And uh, we like fall in love. Frankie Valley. And, and it's, it's he's Bradley old. Cooper. Frankie Val- it's going to be Frankie Valley. Oh, Frankie Valley. I would ride you him. See, you see the videos of him? Uh, I would lip-sing. ride him to the morgue. <laughs> you see the videos of him lip- uh, lip-syncing on TikTok? Yeah, it's really sad. Everybody's like, get this man in Congress. Yeah, yeah. That's him dying on the way to the ER. <laughs> yeah, that's really. That's <laughs> the up. sound of the ER. <laughs> the sound of the, the ambulance. Sound of the ER. Sound of the, ER. <laughs> sound of the ambulance. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Yeah, good job. That was a good Frankie Valley impression. It was pretty. It was almost. Sherry it. baby, Sherry, Sherry baby. Yeah. He yeah. Wrote, he wrote some bangers. You gotta yeah. give it to him. Yeah, you gotta give it to him. Yeah, he, I thought, he was he was he was fucking chicks in like the era where you had to like talk to her dad about it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hi, I really like to put my cock in your daughter's hi. pussy. Hi, Mr. Postman. <laughs> Excuse me. Um hi. Mr. Johnson. I'd like to I'd like to fuck your daughter's tight pussy. I've oh. got a lot of money and I'd love to stick my cock in your daughter's ass, please. Well, you are a white man. <laughs> <sighs> Blowing smoke in his face. Are you dating that? Yeah, you see, I heard you're dating the singing boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry, baby. Yeah, yeah, Sherry. Yeah, Sherry let him do anal. That's why he was singing like that. <laughs> Sherry's booty. Sherry's booty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's back in the day, if you did anal, you fucking got a song written about you. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, you did. Man. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, I thought I always thought Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons was the same as the uh, Jersey Boys. Mm-hmm. They sound are th- they're the same sound though, aren't they? Yeah, no, it's not. It's ba 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 ba. Whatever, fucking. Is it not the same people? Big girls don't cry. I think that's big that, girls. That's funny. Is about big girls is that all they do is cry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah man. If only they if if only they fucking teleported to today, they'd be like big girls sure cry. <laughs> big mm. girls are everywhere. <laughs> They're all over the place, and, well, I, now, and I love them. Well, they're brave queens now. They take up a lot of space. They're brave queens. They're brave and smart. And now cool. you can be a fitness model if you're. You can be a fat fitness model, which and is they're my like, favorite oh my thing. god, she's literally not dying at all. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh my god, look at her. She's not dying even a little bit. I know. There's this absolutely huge girl that does like dancing mm-hmm. on like TikTok and Instagram, and like all the comments are like, "Love to see you moving, mama." And it's Mama. like she's fucking giant, and people are like, she's like, she's like, it's literally a girl with a mustache, like a big, like a big girl with a mustache. She's like, honestly, it's like so fucking annoying when people like want to talk about my weight. I'm like, they trying to save you. <laughs> I never yell at people for telling, like, trying to help. Yeah, they're looking out for you. They're like, hey, you're do, not gonna be able to dance. Do like the that voice. Forever. You do really good. My father was a Jehovah's Witness. Yeah, my father was a Jehovah's Witness. He's like, <laughs> He's like, here's the problem. I'm like, my grandmother was a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> and my uncle, he tried to convert us all to Jehovah. You said you met somebody like that in real life. I you? met a million people like that in real life. <laughs> Only at every waitress I've ever had. How you doing, hon? How you doing, hon? How you doing? I made fun of a girl 
yesterday for having like the perfect waitress voice. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, can you tell me you don't have corn? I was like, can you tell me you don't have corned beef hash, please? I'll bust. Dude, I had the best uh, chocolate chip cookie when I was in LA. Uh, I went to uh, the place, uh, Carney's or whatever. They got the burgers and hot dogs and they had cookies in the window. And boy, was I a sucker. And I, I was eating it in the entire... <laughs> Why you say it like you're a 1920s kid? And boy, was I a sucker. <laughs> I went in there and I said, I'll have one of your finest. Because I'm talking about Frankie Valley. It's got mm-hmm. me in that era. Yeah. It's got so me in that era. I, but I was eating the cookie and I kept going loudly in the restaurant. I wasn't even drunk or anything. I kept going, double chunk chocolate cookie. Oh, yeah. We've never talked about double that. Double chunk double chocolate chunk cookie. Double chunk chocolate cookie. And then, and then I, so I ate that cookie and I went to bed. And I had a dream that he got canceled for saying the N word. That was not a dream. It sounds like it's gonna. It happen. It was real. Yeah, that'd be crazy. No, he was a. Uh, he's the worst. Double chong chocolate. We're Costco guys. We're Costco. I can't wait for that kid to hit puberty and then they can't sell anything anymore. We're we're Costco we're guys. Co- that kid's gonna be trans. We're, co- we're Costco. And that's we're fine. Costco them. And that's fine. We're Costco them. We're Costco days. <laughs> yeah, we're Costco days. Yeah. Double chunk chocolate cookie, and that's fine, right? <laughs> and there's nothing, and there's nothing no, wrong with that. Fine, I just and know nothing, it's gonna happen. There's nothing wrong with double it. chunk chocolate cookie <laughs> and a chicken bake. <laughs> the Rizzler's gonna die of childhood diabetes. <laughs> He's gonna be like nine on eat on the fucking on an iron lung. So you know, so fucking that whole family. They when they dance, we bring the boo. We bring the boo. That's what they do, and they're dancing. They do that fucking thing, whatever. And then, uh, dude, and then when the fucking daughter gets up there, all, all of a sudden everybody's a pedophile and nobody cares. Daughter's 15. Mm-hmm. And everybody's like, I want to see her tits. <laughs> everybody's like, everybody's like, I w- she made me boom. <laughs> People are saying... <laughs> 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 That's funny. I also like Mother of Big Justice. I yeah. like her too. We mom. bring the boom. Yeah. But uh, hey, you see, did you see the Meat Canyon video parody of, uh, of that? I could never do that again if I tried. Oh yeah. wow, good job! Did you uh, did you see the Meat Canyon uh, What's parody? Meat? What's Meat Canyon? It's a guy who does like cartoon parodies and stuff. <laughs> I gotta Big show you. Big girls don't cry. That song's so good. Mm-hmm. It's so Great. untrue, but it's good. Well, back then maybe. No, they cried. <laughs> That's yeah. all they do is cry. There's a scene of well, Rick Flair. There's a there. scene of Ric Flair doing crowd work while he's wrestling. Mm-hmm. He goes. He goes, wheeling, dealing, son of a gun, kissing the girls and making them cry. Even that's that one. It's so (laughs) funny. It's the best video ever. What did she say? She's like like in the crowd like, (laughs) even the kissing the girls and making them cry. Even that fat one. Woo! (laughs) He does a hump right at her face. You watch the Vince McMahon Netflix documentary? No, I won't watch that until I sit down with my friend John and fucking just hammer it. Oh, so you're never going to watch it because... We He's getting him. married now, and he has you guys fiance. have a podcast he doesn't care about. He, have, he has a fiance, and I also don't care about that podcast. <laughs> um, so, I actually, honestly, I fucking hate podcasting. Wait, really? Yeah. What I about just, this one? Well, I, I hate, I, I don't, it's not that I don't like this podcast or you. It's that, I don't know, I just, I don't think I live enough to have something to say for an hour. Literally, we manage it every week. I know, but it's like... Well, I There's just, always something new. There's always something new happening. I guess. Maybe I'm just depressed. I think I'm just super depressed yeah. right now. It's okay. I, I came in here with a resignation letter in my pocket. Why don't we do something fun for your birthday tomorrow, maybe? You want to go play disc golf? No, that's not the... I, no. I just... Uh, no. I'm not... No. Okay. <laughs> anyway, no. On this episode of Jim almost made it without being depressed. Fifty eight minutes in, please <laughs> talk about. It. That's really impressive. No, I, I, I fucking just am. I don't know. My yeah. mom's dead, and I've never had a birthday without her. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. So, what was your first birthday like with your dad? Dead. Uh, well, it was three days later, so yeah, it was so pretty. Did it, blow? it was pretty. Yeah. Yeah. He, oh, yeah. He, yeah. He wasn't even in the ground yet, so it was pretty rough. Fuck. So he kind of was there though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just brought him along. Yeah, um, Dad's doing shots. No, it was uh, no reaction. So, <laughs> <laughs> Dad ate the hottest chip in the world. No reaction. Yeah, I can't get this. Um, I told you about this. I can't get. The, I, I at night, like sometimes I'll dream about it. I have the my lasting image of my mother is her tongue sticking out like a dog. Yeah, like on the. I wanted to push it in. I was like, "Can you make her look like she's not fucking dead, please?" Yeah, yeah. I told you, I told you about my dad. But, oh, it's the best. Um, but, <laughs> any, but no, but my birthday, we all went out. 
We all went out bar hopping, though. Me and my friends, we went out. I just... I guilt. I managed to guilt trip everybody, because, like, it was a rare occasion where all my friends were like, oh, yeah, we'll go out with you, because my dad just died, so, like, nobody said no. Mm. Yeah. That's the one thing. You get one. Mm-hmm. You get one. Yeah. Like, when you need a ride back from Fergie's, I was like, all right. He gets one. He gets one. Uh, yeah. Turn into, like, a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, I uh, I don't know. I'm just fully expecting to wake up tomorrow and be really sad. Oh, don't think about it. if you if you put keep putting that negative energy out there. Of course, it's gonna be like that. Before you go, what's to the be- positive energy? I can't do anything fun. I don't have any fucking money. That's my that's my problem. Is and what? I and I fucking I didn't get the job I applied for, and I'm having a rough week. That's why I was gonna not do it tonight. You know, you tomorrow. need you need to listen to David Goggins. I don't. I'll motivate I, you. No, I need. <laughs> I need. I need to. I need to fucking listen to David Gaggins and get Gaggins. fucked by some hot guy. I don't know. Anyway, Jim's Cash App. Yeah, Jim's Cash App is Panhandle at Jim Gillespie Comedy. Panhandle for your send birthday. Send me $2. Everyone, if anyone on earth could send me $2, I'd have a lot of dollars. Yeah. Just yeah. everybody wants. <laughs> um, anyway, I think we're going to take it over to the Patreon. Cool. I, I, uh, I want to talk about that Vince McMahon documentary. No, I I haven't seen it yet, so I don't want to fucking. All right, we'll talk about other stuff. Jim's gonna. I'll watch it tomorrow. Jim's gonna watch it in a couple years. I'll watch it tomorrow, so we can talk about it next episode. All right. You 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 need big black dicks coming out of oh fucking. They did now. I know they didn't cover that. They did. They did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did. At the at well, I'm not gonna spoil it. They talk about it. it. Don't spoil it. it. Don't spoil it. Um, but hey, guys, send us mail. Uh, the PO box is in the description. Uh, please think it forward. Share this podcast with your friends. It really helps. Check out our Patreon. We're going over to part two here soon. And uh, we love you guys. We appreciate you. Anything you want to say from Jim? Uh, Fucking come check us out live. We have a ton of fucking shows coming up. You can Do find we? all of our shit in our link tree. We, yeah, we have stuff. Coming. Oh, I just, well, yeah, I just, uh, we got oh, uh, Ohio. Cleveland. Yeah, I have, yeah, I have a ton of cool shit coming up that I haven't like posted anything about yet. But once I finalize everything, I'll, I'll have some really fucking cool shit coming up. Um, yeah. As of right now, it's all a big fucking gay secret, so... See you guys. See you over on part two. We love you.